And we are talking with Scott Erickson here at the National Association of Farm Broadcasters Convention in Kansas City. Scott Erickson with Syngenta. Thank you for uh, joining us. Thank you very much, Mark. You're familiar My with pleasure. our area, Sioux Falls. Yes. All right. Let's talk soybeans, if you would. Uh, soybean seed uh, product management for Syngenta. That's the NK brand. Correct. Correct. We okay. sell all of our soybean varieties under the NK brand. All right. If you could tell us, uh, I guess I'm basing this off of uh, commodity prices, mm -hmm. land values, so on. How about telling us uh, a grow more soybean story or stories? Uh, Seems like there's been a ceiling on what yield should be with soybeans, but you can uh, tell us some stories about growing more soybeans. Absolutely. You know, farmers do tell us, uh, many of them have a sense that their soybean yields have leveled off perhaps, but when we look at the research and we look at the genetics, we know that there's a lot more possible with soybeans. I mean, we have yield contest winners getting north of 150 bushels per acre, yet the national average is still 44. And uh, really what that's all about is we know that if we start with top yielding NK brand soybean varieties, and then we do all those things that are necessary throughout the growing season to preserve that yield potential and deliver it to the bin, then we know we'll have a successful soybean year. So our, our soybean producers, and we've got a number of them in our area, enjoying the commodity prices that they've seen and so on. More bushels uh, per acre, more money in the bank account. Absolutely. And uh, even though they may think they're at the, the high end of the scale as far as uh, what's expected for yield, there's there's room for more even in our area. Certainly, certainly. Is what you're saying. And I, and I think it's just a matter of understanding the work that's been done, the research that's out there. And that's where our NK retailers, our Garston Golden Harvest Seed Advisors that carry the NK brand soybeans, can provide that information and guidance on what what are the necessary inputs along the way that can help boost that productivity and return on investment. All right, We're talking about produce more soybean stories, uh, grow more soybean stories. What about when we uh, get hit with uh, uh, drought or environmental challenges that uh, puts the kibosh to any hopes of gaining more production? What about what about drought? tolerance and uh, environmental challenges. One of the tools that uh, Syngenta researchers are working with is molecular markers. It's understanding that how the genetic map of the soybean plant matches up with what the plant does in the field. So we're identifying those backgrounds or those types of genetics that can address stresses like drought. So that's very exciting. So we're building our database and now we're going to be able to be more prescriptive and actually create varieties adapted for those environments. All right. Well, to get you know more detailed information on this, uh, we're limited how much time we have on our, our video uh, here in this interview, and Scott's time is limited too. He's got a number of other people he's going to be talking to from across the nation. You can go to his web uh, site location. You can link to it right from our uh, story here. Just uh, you see the link, just click on that, pull up more information. And Scott Erickson from Syngenta, we thank you so much. Thank you, Mark. All right, Pleasure. joining us here at the NAFB convention in Kansas City. I'm Mark Tassler.